Hi there. <laughs> you might recognise Sally from such videos as How to Sugar Paste a Cake. Yes. It was a long time ago though, but a lot of you have seen that video, so you probably know who Sally is. Sally was decorating a cake for her friend the other night, um, and me and Nikki and Sally were hanging out in the kitchen while she made it, and it was just so cool that I thought it would be really fun if Sally showed us how she did it. So the technique that I'm going to show you is really simple and it's something I tried out a few times on some wedding cakes for friends, sorry friends, testing out all my techniques on you, <laughs> but it seemed to work out. Um, so to start with, what I have here is a nice tall, um, it's a six inch cake, you can do whatever size cake you like and it's been crumb coated, it's nice and firm from the fridge and we're just going to top coat that first. You've seen Gemma top coating cakes loads of times, so I'll just do it really quickly, but I might throw in some useful hints and tips. Whilst I'm doing this, sorry, um, I'm going to get Gemma to mix up some colours because this is going to have a rainbow design on it, so we need heaps of colours. We're going to go for ten colours. You can do, like, you don't have to do ten colours. Um, you could do this in a different effect. You could go, like, ombre, like blues and purples or something, but we're going to go rainbow because... You might have noticed we're also representing pretty much all the colours of the rainbow with our outfits, which kind of wasn't planned. As usual, as you all know, we need to put lots of icing on first and then we're going to smooth it off. It's much easier to start with more um, than to use a little bit at a time. So I've got my smoother, um, which you've also seen Gemma using heaps. It's the best thing you can actually have for cake decorating, so get one, they're really cheap. And when you're using this, this is probably my best tip uh, for today. So when you're smoothing it, I see a lot of people doing this a 90 degree angle like this. So the only bit that's touching the cake is this edge here. And what that's going to do, if you watch, it's just going to scrape it off and it's not going to make it very smooth. What you want to do is have as much of this area of the um, smoother touching your cake. So rather than like this, I'm going to hold it like this. So it's gently smoothing it out as you go around. So while Sally's doing that, I'm getting on with uh, making my incredible 10 colour rainbow. I mean, there is an infinite number of colours in the rainbow, but it's, well, 10 is about as much as I can handle. And as usual, I'm using colour paste rather than liquid um, or colour gels, if you prefer to call them that. I'm happy with my size. They're nice, smooth and straight, so I just need to do my top. Um, I've switched to the normal size smoother just because the cake's so um, short. No. No, it's got a small it's diameter. Got a small diameter. <laughs> <laughs> if I use that big one, it's just, it's just a bit big. So I've got my smoother here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the icing into the centre. And my top tip for this is to have a piece of tissue paper or something next to you. Every single time you swipe into the centre, give your smoother a wipe because any excess that you've got on your smoother, that's just going to go back on your cake. And then if you have any little bits on the top that you want to sort of hide, you can just use your little cranked palette knife. I'm pretty happy with that. Before we start adding our colour, we're going to put this in the fridge just for sort of 15 minutes just to firm it up a bit because when we apply the um, rainbow colours, we're going to be, you know, using a little bit of, um, not force, but a bit of force. So we don't want to, we don't want to smush it and merge it with the white icing. And I've still got a bit of catching up to do because there's 10 colours here and I'm slow. <laughs> All oh, right, this little guy is ready. Are you ready? I'm so nearly ready. I'm just finishing the pink, and that's the last colour. So, yes. <gasps> it's a lot yes. of colours. I mm. totally appreciate that. But it looks beautiful. <laughs> now we can start adding our colour. I'm going to start, and I'm going to show Gemma how to do it. She's going to have a go herself. It's, it's really, really easy, and you can't go wrong. Like, so this cake is going to have a rainbow effect going from red at the top all the way through orange, yellow, green, blue, purple to the bottom. So we'll start with our red, and I'm going to use a crank palette knife for this little one. I'm going to take a tiny little blob of icing. What we're going to do is put it on our cake, put a little bit of pressure in and sweep up. And now I've done a couple of reds, so I'm going to start with the orange, because I want them to not blend, but sort of smush together a teeny bit. 
If you feel like you're losing some of the colours, like Gemma said, we can just add them over the top again, like the red, if you want to put in a little bit of red here. This looks so cool at the moment. It? it? looks like a fire. It looks like a fire. <laughs> but it's going to look more like a parasol. It's going it? to look more like <laughs> us in our yeah. slightly OTT outfits today. A Hawaiian shirt. Um, so I'm going to pass on to Gemma and she's going to have a go. What we're going to do is sort of, not going to, you could cover the whole cake, but that might be a tad overkill. I mean, it really is whatever floats your boat, guys. If you want to cover this whole thing in a rainbow, that's absolutely fine. Go for it. Um, but we're not going to. No. Um, we're going to have like a nice sweep going across the cake like this. So I'm going to pass this to Gemma. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. So what you want to make sure, Gemma, is yes. that you wipe your pumpkin oh. every time because otherwise that happens. This will happen. Oh, it's like I've never, ever <laughs> done anything like this before. No, it's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you feel like this is quite a big jump from the sort of orange to the green, we can add a bit more yellow over the mm. top. I think, I think it's pretty. Yeah, I think it's pretty too. You can leave it like this. But like why cool. leave it like this when we can go even more over the top? More, more, <laughs> more. So I'm going to add a tiny little bit of gold leaf. And Gemma's going to put some of these colours into some piping bags with different nozzles. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put some blobs and some brangs on top. I love it! Yay, I'm pleased. I think it's suitably ridiculously flamboyant. <laughs> Sometimes it's so hard to know where to stop. It really is. Yeah. I wanted to carry on forever. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Please give this a go and maybe try and apply the technique of the painting to something else, like flowers or change up the colours or anything. And if you do make this, let me know by using hashtag Cupcake Gemma on your Instagram posts. Maybe even Cupcake Sally. <laughs> Why not? Actually, she's sponge cake, Sally. She's not cupcake, Sally. <laughs> and if you want to get your hands on one of our lovely aprons, which we have been sporting all this time, keeping our lovely, ridiculously loud shirts from getting even more loud, <laughs> then head over to cupcakegemma.com where you can buy the apron and oven gloves and tea towels and, and badges. And badges and phone cases and tattoos. <gasps> and Just loads of things, actually. And Sally will pack it up for you. I she's, will. She's the packing girl. <laughs> among loads of other things. <laughs> so I will see you next time for another recipe. So thank you, Sally, very much. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.